When Crossbreed Holsters brought out the Super Tuck, it really started a lot of people. It's a great design, Rob, but you know, I'm not sure people fully understand it. Now, at ICE Training, you teach people how to use this. Absolutely, you know, this is one of the most comfortable and secure holsters that people can have for what I consider deep concealment. Okay. And a lot of people see a holster this size and the last thing they think of is deep concealment, right. but the reality is the Super Tuck, which is tuckable, which is the number one thing that I still see people not taking advantage right. of, is a great deep concealment holster that's incredibly comfortable, you know. Right. It, it, well, the comfort, a lot of it comes from the size. People look at it and say, well, if it's that big, it's not concealable. But right. that, that, that's not true. No, it's not. You know, Mark used to call it the, the ugliest holster you'll ever love. Yeah. And, and it really is something. When I first saw it, I had students showing up on the range with it. And students, more and more students would show up with it. And finally, I got curious about it, contacted Mark, and tried it out myself. And it is a very comfortable holster. And as you can see, a well, very concealable I was just going to say, holster. look at this. You can't tell that there's anything here, but you'd have your shirt tucked in. And that's the whole right. point of it. Right. That's the whole thing is that what you can do, and this is the way it works. This clip obviously goes around the belt, but what a lot of people miss is you can tuck the shirt in right here between the clip and the leather. Right. Now this particular, this is the original, this is the one that's most comfortable, and as we know, everybody needs some comfort when they carry, and that's one of the great things about the leather mated to the Kydex. Yeah, but you like the combat cut. I like the combat cut, and I'm going to untuck to show everybody why. Okay. I want to get as good a grip on that firearm as sure. I can before I come up out of the holster. The, the difference is, let me just lock this back, the difference is on the combat cut, you, this cuts in more so you're able to get your thumb down and around the grip. Exactly, and that's really what I'm looking for is that this area with the combat cut is relieved so that when I come up, I can quickly get the gun out, I can easily get the gun back in. I highly recommend the combat cut, but either way, the Super Tuck's a great choice. Well, and as we always say, it's always a compromise and you have to figure out what works best for you, but I'm with you. What's more important, yeah, they're both comfortable and may, you might give up a little bit of comfort on the combat cut, but the whole idea is to be able to get to your gun and get it out if you need it. That's why you're wearing it in the first Absolutely. place. Absolutely. So the Crossbreed Holsters, Super Tuck, and with the combat cut, it's one you need to check out. It's a way that you can carry every day because it's comfortable and it tucks so you can conceal. Tucking a holster inside the waistband is a great way to carry concealed, but you also need a great way to get the firearm out when you need it the most. The best thing that you can do is bring both hands back to your body, reach back under your strong hand, pull that shirt up out of the way, get a good hold of the gun, and then present just like you would if you're wearing outside the waistband. Of course, we can't count on having two hands available, so I'm gonna tuck back in, and we're gonna take a look at what we would do if this hand were injured or busy pushing somebody out of the way. We simply reach back, get a handful of shirt, pull it up, keep it against our body as we reach down, get our firearm, pull it up, and that's exactly how we start our presentation from a tucked holster that's inside the waistband and under a shirt. A great way to carry if you have a smooth way to present. Make sure you hit the range and get your practice in with whatever you decide to carry your firearm in for personal defense.